Stephen. Well, I mean, 3D printing disrupts the way in which we manufacture assets and also have to store assets that get reused, obviously, as spare parts or, or other things. And so th this is going to change the world of manufacturing uh, and the world of using technology. We don't necessarily only have to rely on low-cost environments to produce things and sell them in higher-cost environments because we will be able to, to change that uh, supply chain. Um, we will therefore also be able to change the cost structure of technology. Um, for example, auto manufacturers today legally have to have spare parts for 12 years. Uh, railway uh, equipment manufacturers have to hold equipment for 35 years. This therefore changes the cost structure because they don't actually have to hold the physical asset, they just have to hold the digital imprint of what it is. So we will see significant uh, disruption and opportunity created through 3D printing. It is frankly one of the more fascinating aspects uh, that as you say, span beyond just printing out dumb little plastic things. Um, with where the, this technology is today, uh, metal parts, uh, and as you say, food can be created this way. So we're in for a significant change, which interestingly enough, primarily will affect well-established companies in sort of the asset-intensive industries. Those industries are the ones that actually face the biggest change. They're also the ones that are actually, interestingly enough, showing the greatest level of innovation in terms of what they're doing today because they know they have to change.